Hello, and welcome to Spotlight on Eastside Meadow. My name is Kim Gasparini, and today we're going to be talking about one of the many ways that you personally can become involved in Eastside Meadow. And our guest today is Mr. Dan Lacedonia, who is the chairman of the Centennial Hydrant Painting Committee and also is on the board of directors for the Lions Club here in East Long Meadow. So let's turn our camera to our guest so you can meet Mr. Lacedonia. And thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting yes. me, Kim. And this is the second time I've been able to sit and speak with you, and I really enjoyed myself when I came to your home Good. and found you to be a very interesting person. Thank and uh, so although we're here to talk about the, the hydrant painting um, I'd like to, a little bit, uh, maybe there's some people from East Long Meadow out here that haven't had a chance to meet you and get to know you, and I just think you're a neat person to get to know. Okay. So if you could share a little bit about yourself and your own history here in East Long Meadow and, um, and your involvement in the Lions Club, too, that would be interesting to me. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I've been here about 41 years. All of my children were born here in town. I love the town. Used to live up on Hamward Hill, and now I'm over on Ridge Road. Got four children. Uh, they've all moved out of East Long Meadow, but they all got their, their education here. I've been on many, many committees in town. In fact, I got the first ambulance in town. Oh. Uh, in fact, what we did is we made a, ply, a plywood puzzle of the, of the ambulance, and as we earned money, we built it. We built a wheel here, a hood there, and uh, built the whole ambulance and got the money and bought it for the town. Anyway, as they say, uh, this is, this is what, my what was after that? <laughs> okay, I know you've done an awful lot. Well, uh, I've been on school building committees. Okay. I was on the also on the the cable mm -hmm. committee that brought you mm -hmm. brought oh. uh, okay. into town. In fact, uh, we made sure that we wrote into the provisions mm -hmm. the fact that we, we would be getting monies and equipment from from the organization. So as they say, I've uh, quite a bit. Uh, I've Tell us a little bit it. about the Lions Club. Well, the Lions Club is a service organization. Uh, as com service, uh, like the Rotary and the Kiwanis, as compared to the Elks, who are more fraternal. Um, service organization is trying to work for the for the town and community. Uh, we're and, and we also are very active in uh, with the blind. We try to try to help out the blind. In fact, I would say for the sightless. We are to the blind and the sightless as the, the um, Shriners are wow. to crippled children and uh, burn victims. Because so the Lions Club is nationwide. Yes, You're just yes. a chapter. Yeah. In fact, we, uh, some of the things that we do in town, by the way, I had to bring a list because all, I tell everybody I have an excellent memory. Mm -hmm. It's just short. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> one of the things I'd like to do is just tell you some of the things that the Lions Club okay. does Love in town. That. Well, for instance... Uh, recently, we've purchased three computers for the East Long Meadow school system, a hearing test machine for the school system, a VCR for the school drug program, eyeglasses for needy people. Uh, we send a high school student to, the, to Washington every year. Uh, we subscribe to uh, large print magazines for the elderly projects. And one of the big things we do in town is to... Uh, erect the manger scene mm -hmm. and the Christmas tree, the light. In mm -hmm. fact, I'm very active in that yeah. also. We also donate money to the Massachusetts Eye Research, mm -hmm. which then funds research for, mm -hmm. uh, for the eyes. And we uh, give money to the Orthoptic Clinic mm -hmm. in, East, in Springfield. There we have all kinds of equipment that no ophthalmologist could afford to keep in his office and we buy them, and we let, we let the people be sent there from the doctors. Uh, we also give things to places like the food pantry and Western Mass Food Bank. Yeah. And uh, those are That's some a lot. Of things. That's yes. A lot. yes. How do you do all your fundraising? What are some of the ways you do well, fundraising? Well, we have pancake breakfasts. Uh, we used to sell, we used to sell uh, bulbs door to door. We've mm -hmm. sold brooms. Uh, we, we park cars at the Eastern States Exposition in order to gain money. Oh, As I say, I didn't know we, that. we work to get our monies mm -hmm. so that we can then give it all out. Right. At the end of the year, we have nothing left in our budget. Wow. We start off with a zero budget each year. And you have a lot of fun, though, don't you? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, great, great. 
Well, let's talk about our topic here today. Okay. And um, kind of let you take over with this part. I know that you, you invented this idea, or you... Uh, uh, I stole you it. You stole it. I okay. stole the idea. Tell us how this whole all thing right. originated. Well, first of all, uh, painting of hydrants uh, was done around the, um, the uh, 300th anniversary, their centennial for the, for the country. In 1976, I would say four, five, six, or seven cities and towns had these had these uh, hydrant yeah. painting uh, uh, projects. I saw it two or three years after that. I was thumbing through a, a magazine. My son-in-law is a deputy fire chief in Orleans, mm -hmm. Mass, at the Cape, and I was going through one of his magazines, the Firehouse, and I saw these painted hydrants, and I thought that would be a great idea, mm -hmm. and I just was quite apathetic about it. I just didn't do anything about it mm -hmm. until this year when the Centennial Committee asked the Lions Club to, to do something for the Centennial. Well, we said we would, first of all, we'd um, have a pancake breakfast. We would also bury a time capsule. But then I thought this was a good time, and I suggested that we paint hydrants for the centennial. So all of a sudden that thought just bing came that, to well, you, it, and you it, remembered this it? This is right. It was uh, sort right, of in the bag, right, yes. Right, Great. It was supposed to be there. Yes. Right? Okay. Just waiting to come out. <laughs> I think it's uh, a great idea. Okay. Uh, and uh, the, the, the club thought it would be a, a great idea, so what we did is uh, mm -hmm. we had a committee. We had a committee, and I want to acknowledge the committee okay. at this time. The committee, of which I'm the chairman, is composed of Ange Corielli, Craig, uh, Chris Hopkins, Paul Lane, Judd Pooler, Phyllis Margeson, Dennis Tully, and Carl Olin. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been meeting every month and uh, putting together all the rules and regulations. Is that and, a lot of work to do that? Well, whenever you do anything for the first time, you know, you can always tell the pioneers. They're the ones with the arrows in their back. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah, the, yes, when you're starting a new mm -hmm. project, mm -hmm. uh, the first thing we had to do was get approval. Mm -hmm. So we had to, uh, I sent a letter to the selectman, and the selectman in turn said, you talk to the fire chief, and if it's okay with the fire chief, okay. it's okay with us. So the fire chief thought it was a great idea. That's Bob Wallace, mm -hmm. the fire chief in town. Thought it was a great idea, but... Um, he, he did put a few rules and regulations that we had to adhere to. First of all, we have to use oil-based paint because if and when the, they get repainted, they don't want to be putting them on a water-based okay. paint. Secondly, we can add nothing to a hydrant mm -hmm. that will impair mm -hmm. its operational efficiency. Like balloons. We can't have a balloon, a skirt, hat, a hat, an umbrella, okay. nothing like that. These things have to be ready to be used, to even, roll. Mm -hmm. even if they're painted. Then the other thing we had to promise was that we would repaint these uh, after it was all over. They gave me 60 days after the 4th of July to repaint them. Now, <clears throat> I hate to go on record, but after looking into this, I have found that just about every other city and town that's ever Painted say, hydrants let, let has painted. never repainted them back well, to the original colors. I was going to say, why, why bother repainting? Well, there's, there's a good reason for repainting. It, once again, I, I'm going to tell you a little about hydrants. First of all, if you look at the hydrants in town, they're all painted yellow. But on the, but on the uh, nut at the top right. and the cap over here, it'll be painted a different color. If it's red, it means that the volume coming out of that hydrant is 500 uh -huh. gallons a minute or less. Uh -huh. If it's orange, it's between 500 and 1,000 gallons per minute. And if it's green, it's over 1,000 uh -huh. gallons per minute. So this area and this area are the two that are painted. Uh -huh. But uh, as I say... Do uh, they have to leave those painted while, they're, while, we, while we're, everybody's painting them? No, oh, okay. no, no, no. Okay. That's... Okay. We have... We have that, uh, uh, that time of grace. Okay. But anyway, I'm kind of hoping that the townspeople, when this is all over, will want to keep the fire hydrants uh, That'd be nice. painted. Yeah, I would think so, too, after all that fun work. 
So tell me, how does one, because somebody may, uh, that is watching today may be interested in uh, thinking about okay. sponsoring the hydrant? Is that sure. the way it goes? First of all, these posters are all over town. Mm -hmm. These posters are telling people where they can, where they can go mm -hmm. to get applications. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the applications... The applications are now in uh, five locations. They're at the B&B &B Market, okay. the Library, Roy's Home Decorating, uh, Rockies, and Kelly Fredette. Okay. The reason I have added the three hardware stores or paint stores is because early in the game, the three of them have agreed to provide paint, brushes, and drop cloths oh, that's wonderful. at cost. Mm -hmm. Now, paint up the uh, cost of uh, oil-based paint is very, very high. It's mm -hmm. much more, much more than yeah. ordinary, ordinary paint. Anyway, <clears throat> so the applications are at those three stores plus the library and the uh, B&B market. Okay. One how of the. How many hydrants are there? We have 800 hydrants in town, but we're not painting 800. Right. There are between 24 and 28, depending upon whether you call corners or on the side streets, between 24 and 28 hydrants on the parade route. Right, that's what I thought. Now, if, and I'm kind of hoping that this mm -hmm. is going to be a success and we have more applications than 24 or 28, if we go, we have more, we will then continue to paint hydrants mm -hmm. on the main thoroughfares in East Long Meadow, mm -hmm. meaning Prospect Street, okay. Shaker Road. Right. You know, uh, right, where people no, park and get to this the is right. Yeah, we yeah. want people, for instance, we want people to see these these hydrants that are being painted. We haven't talked about the what the, the what the what we expect on the hydrant, but they can make it patriotic, centennial. Uh, historic, funny, horrible, mm -hmm. comic. Make it horrible, huh? Hor horrible mm -hmm. from outer space. Okay. Uh, and they can be abstract. Whatever turns one on, we just, just it's appropriate. As right? long as <laughs> that's right, it, obviously <laughs> right, it has right. to be appropriate. Right. But um, these are a couple of uh, these pictures mm -hmm. that we have here. Examples. Are these are from Plymouth? Oh. Plymouth, Mass, and I think the one in the middle, the small one, I think that came from Savannah, Georgia. Oh. But anyway, uh, this is the kind of thing that you can do that, with a hydrant. This is what you're looking for. This is an example of what you're looking yes. for. Yes. Now, uh, so somebody calls and says, I'm going to sponsor a hydrant. When do they actually start their painting? I was just curious about that. Okay. Uh, May 14th, which is a Saturday, going until June 4th or 5th, mm -hmm. which is a Sunday. We feel that this can be done in in three weeks, and we don't want to tie up, right. uh, uh, for instance, one of the reasons that we are requiring the use of brushes rather than spray paint is the last thing we'd want is uh, Saturday and Sunday to have the wind carry oh. uh, mm -hmm. the, the spray Keep paint on a, on, a, on a car. Mm -hmm. So we expect that uh, it might take a, a couple of days. You might want to be painting a base color and then other colors on top of it. But they have three weekends or the weekdays in order to... It really sounds like a lot of fun, though. I think the people would really enjoy. What a way to participate in this centennial celebration, too. Well, what I'm kind of hoping is that since we're starting in May and the, the main portions or preponderance of activities that are going to happen for the centennial are in June, that when people see these hydrants, you'll make them ask questions. You know, why are these hydrants That's painted right. in East Long Meadow? And perhaps get a little curiosity, a little publicity, and if the oh, yeah. and if the TV stations and the papers want to take pictures we'll while, the they're, while they're right. painting, right. because they always like action yes. items. Yes. Now that wouldn't help the Centennial program that either. Yeah, yeah. be wonderful. Alright, now as far as the paint, uh, the sponsors have to purchase their own paint, and, and I, I remember you telling me something about if somebody was in need for some help with paint, okay. you could Yes, you, you have very good memories. Yeah. Yours, yours is better than mine. <laughs> uh, 
when, when I was discussing this, because we certainly want the high school students to participate in this, when I was talking to the uh, art director and music director, John Turner, he said, if I wanted greater participation, he says, I really, we really should uh, uh, give the paint or offer the paint so that the students can use the paint without taking money out of their own pocket. Well, paint is not inexpensive, but what I was able to do is I've gotten some of the businesses in town to give monies towards the paint and or contest prizes. And I have also gotten Sherwin-Williams, who is a big paint manufacturer, through their regional manager. I am, uh, we are going to be getting at least 12 gallons of paint of the different colors. By the way, the colors we are going to have on hand to give out is going to be red, yellow, blue, black, and white. Right. Why those colors? Red and, green, red and yellow make orange, yellow and okay. blue make green, yes. and red and blue make yeah, purple. Okay. So with those five colors, we expect to be able to get just about any color for the hydrants. The B&B market is giving us the containers, the plastic containers, so we will be pouring some of the paint in smaller containers so that people like the high school students and that type, if they need and want paint, will be able to get it from us. Great. Some of the businesses in town, I told you Sher Sherwin-Williams was giving us the paint, and it was the West Springfield branch that's doing it. Hafey Funeral Home is giving us some money. Tully and Manning, the attorneys, the, I told you the B&B market is giving, right. giving us the containers. containers. Milton Bradley is going to be giving us games towards the prizes, okay. and the Big Y Supermarket. Great. So, uh, so we've, we've got participation already from... Sounds uh, excellent. Sounds yeah. like it's really well planned, and I think it's going to be a big success. Now, is there any recognition for, like, is there going to be a top one, two, three winner? Uh, uh, <laughs> I just wonder... Well, the... we kind of hope that painting is going to be a a win-win situ situation yeah. all by itself. But obviously, we are going to recognize all the winners. Since we have no idea whether it's going to be 10, 30, 50, we will, yeah, we will, sure. we will, we will then det determine how many prizes are given out mm -hmm. depending upon the numbers of people who participate. Right, right. So this is the only thing I can't come out and tell you. So but yes, but we're not sure how that's yes, going to work yes, yet. Yes, there are going to be contest winners. Now, we want anyone and everyone. We want the churches, the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, we want the businesses in town to, oh. to paint them if they want to. Uh, we want individuals to get together, the high school kids, uh, get together two or three. In, in, you, you need two or three. One who does the creative work and the other two to, to be kind of the backups, cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're looking for groups of two, three, or four to go out. What they would do is when they pick up this application, on the second page is the form they have to fill out. Okay. And it has my address on there, so they'll send the applications to me. I, in turn, will assign a hydrant to them mm -hmm. to paint. Mm -hmm. We're also sending along a sort of a template, just a picture of a hydrant, right. so that they can, they can, they can, right they, they, they can kind of practice sure. on this to see what they want. Right. So anyway, this is... Uh, That's a good idea. Yeah. So that if people listening and are interested in participating in this would like to get involved and learn more about what it would be uh, to get involved, should they just go to one of the stores that you mentioned or should they call you? Either or. I, 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 they can go to these stores. Everything, all the rules and regulations are on, on there. By the way, the rules are very simple. Very. Just keep the place clean. Right. Uh, use oil-based paints right. and don't obstruct the hydrants. How much, how much simpler can it be? Yeah. Oh, but the only thing that uh, we do is we, we have to assign the hydrants so that we don't have people squabbling over squatters' right. rights. Right. How, many, how many are um, sponsored already? Do you have any idea? Well, it, we, the publicity has just gone out. Okay. So we're I, just beginning I, I received my first application okay. Thursday. Great. So, uh, so, so, well, I'm sure you'll be so, receiving more. Oh, I'm sure of that, too. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, also, at this time, say that the Lions are also going to be sponsoring two other activities. 
the pancake breakfast, which is going to be uh, the pancake breakfast is going to be the uh, Sunday, June nineteenth, at the high school between eight and twelve o'clock, okay. two seventy-five a person, and the time capsule is going to be buried at Heritage Park on Saturday, July second, at ten a.m. in the morning. I don't know what that is. A time capsule, things that well, you you've heard of other places where they they. They bury things that pertain to the town okay. and then have it there so that 50, 100, 200 years later people can... Uh, you're kidding. No, yeah. I never heard about yeah, that. So, we are so gonna, you're going to be actually, are you going to be digging up or burying? Which one is it going to be? We are going to be digging okay. up first oh. and then burying a, 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 a time capsule. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Now, is that on the same day as the, the pancake? No. Oh, okay. No, that's there are two. Event. July 2nd is a okay. Saturday, okay. and that's just before the parade. And the other, the breakfast, once again, is June 19th, okay. Sunday. Yeah. And are you selling those tickets yourself? The pancake uh, breakfast tickets? Or uh, well, those? well, from any Lions Club okay. member. In fact, uh, uh, I'd be happy to give you a well, couple, I'll, all right? I, I will buy get, some after our show today. All right, I'll buy some okay. for my family. How does yeah. that sound? That sounds great. That sounds great. Anything be, else you want Because like I'll be working there, so I'll wait on you. Okay, How's that? great. Okay. Well, I'm coming to see you. You're, you're a great guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I really enjoyed you. Anything else you'd like to add? I think you've covered just about uh, everything. I, all I can say is I think this is a great, a great, oh. great way of kind of giving a little pizzazz, oh, yes. a little spirit to the town. Mm -hmm. Have it so people say, yeah. have you been over to East Long Meadow recently? Right. Have you seen their painted oh, yeah. hydrants? If we can get that kind of activity and people talking about us mm -hmm. and our town and then coming to our centennial, we'll have accomplished everything. Oh, yeah. Well, it's going to be a great year for sure. It's going to be a great year. Well, I want to thank you for being here. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and I'm sure people in town appreciate you taking the time to come in and talk to us, too. And those of you that are watching that are even just remotely interested or thinking about it, just don't think about it. Just do it. Make the phone call and sponsor a hydrant. It's just going to make the year a really exciting year. So those of you that are watching, thank you, and we'll see you the next time on Spotlight. Bye-bye. Thanks.